In this video, we're going to look a little bit more closely at the log levels and try to understand them a little bit more intuitively. So in the last video, we had talked about trace and debug and the info, warn error and fatal levels. And essentially the way this works is that the trace level gives you lots and lots of detail, whereas the fatal level gives you the least amount of detail. And what you essentially are doing in your code, or at least in your program, is, and you'll see this in, in obviously in MQSI, you know, in our IIB as we've been looking at, if you set the level to, say, debug, then what happens is what's going to write to the log will be debug, debug, and higher. So it's like it does this. And higher meaning, well, actually, you know, essentially lower. So you're going to get that amount of detail and less. You won't get more detail. You get that amount of detail and less, so going towards the right. And the same thing would apply then if you set it to warn. You won't get info, you won't get debug, you won't get trace, but you would get error, right, and you'd get fatal. And of course you'd, you'd get warn as well because that's what you set it to. So you need to keep that in mind because this plays a huge role an important role when you set these things up. Now remember too that we had looked at this diagram before, which is the architectural diagram of how log4j works, and so you have the logger and you have an appender. What the logger is going to do essentially is write to or connect to or be configured with, so this, this kind of configuration piece, will be configured with this appender. So that's what I've drawn, I've simplified it here. So the way this is important because you see this when you look at when you look at IIB. So essentially you have your logger. So you in fact mention the logger in IIB. And then that logger has configuration information for the appender. So the, the logger is essentially just you know pointing at the appender. And let's take a look at an example. This is what we worked with before. So when you're in IIB, you have your log level. So here it is. That's error. So this is what you're saying you're saying that error is what you want this text to be shown as. So you want the level of this text to be error. That's the idea. And then you separately mention the logger name. So that is here, right? We're saying that's the logger. And when you look at the text, the actual configuration here, you can see this in action. We said that it was default. So all you have to do to see this is go down to logger where you'll see default. So what happens is when IIB is running, so the runtime is going to open up this file. Remember that's part of the log4j. It has to initialize first and the initialization will bring in the configuration file that's usually automatic and then separately you have to do your statements. Well the statement is what we just looked at. This, this is our statement. We are saying in IIB that this is the statement we want to write out. And of course we want that to happen at error level. So what you're, what's really happening here is that we have, you're telling log4j that you want to use this. You want to use default. And of course, let's clean this up here. So we're using default. And config by the way, this is obviously the configuration, right? The, this is, all of this is config. And that is all picked up by initialization, and the initialization happens when you start the IIB system. So basically, once your integration server is running, uh, it's picking up, it's initializing log4j. Okay, so what's, again, you were saying our lo the logger is default. Now, the, the logger itself is going to point to an appender. And here's the appender. So we had already drawn that, remember? We had said logger is going to point to the appender. And it's exactly what you're seeing here. Here's the logger, and it's pointing to that, that appender. Well, that appender is right here. So there we go. That is this sort of approach. And specifically, you're going to see a level here as well as a level here. 
So you might be, well, it's called a threshold, really. It's not a level. It's called a threshold. And, and really, this is also a threshold. But anyway, we have two, right? So we have worn here, and we have threshold of worn here as well. So the question is, well, which one is it, right? Which one, which one sort of wins? And what happens is, again, that logger is going to accept or not accept whatever is put is said here whatever set here so it's going to accept worn and it's also going to accept anything again anything that is to the right of let's say so anything that has worn or less information so worn error and fatal will all get put past or will all be accepted by default or that is to say our logger a logger is going to accept all of those so warn info and fatal warn info and fatal in fact just to bring home this point i'm going to copy this down so we can see it okay so we are saying let's put that right Let's put that here. Sorry, that's a little confusing. Let's put that. Let's put it here. And we're going to shrink it down so it's easier to read. We're just going to use this for reference. So we are saying we want the logger to take Sorry, I said it wrong. Warn, error, and fatal. That's what we want. But because we set it for warn. Now, once it gets in here, the question is, okay, so it's going to pass all of the warns, all the errors, and all the fatals into here, into this logger. Uh, sorry, into this appender. And the question is, once it gets into the appender, what's the appender going to do? What's the appender going to accept? And you can kind of get the, you probably already know the answer to this if you're paying attention to closely. You'll see, right? It says, well, I want that to be worn as well. So that means that whatever this particular appender says is going to be accepted or not accepted by based on this threshold value of worn. So in, a, so in this case, it's actually fairly straightforward, right? We're saying that we want anything that's worn or error or fatal will be accepted by the logger. And then those will all be passed into the appender. The appender will then look at those and then say, well, okay, uh, I'll also accept the same thing. So warn, error, and fatal. But sometimes you won't necessarily want this to happen. Like for example, what happens if uh, you want more, um, you want this kind of detail, the warn level detail, for one particular group of users and then you want a whole bunch more information for your code developers for example so you know your systems admin administrators want this or maybe less maybe they just want this but anyway they want a different amount of detail so what you do is you set up two different appenders so the first appender is going to have a threshold value of say warren so that's our first group and then you just create another appender just like this one, that's going to write to a different file. And that file might say, you know, uh, system programmers, right? And in that second appender, you're going to accept debug, or you're going to set the threshold value of debug in, you know, in this second appender. And if you'd like more detail about how that works, and maybe a probably a better explanation of what I, than what I just gave you, go to this Stack Overflow webpage, this particular post, and you'll see a really great explanation of essentially what I just went over. You can see the logger, you can see how the configuration you know, might look, you can see this worn error and fatal we just talked about, and you can also see a, a really nice explanation here of how, this, how the two interoperate. And of course, you get this really um, great example down here too, of essentially what we just talked about, where the sysadmins get one appender, and then the developer gets a different appender with different thresholds uh, here, so that you know each one can see essentially what he wants based on a single.
logger, which of course references both of those two, and are uh, is set for you know this particular level.